our bridges have had issues with settlement at the approach under the approach slabs and when that occurs then the pavement leading up to the bridge ends of course settles as well and that provides discomfort to the traveling public so in one of our research meetings a project problem statement was presented where we would look at this issue again and look at new technologies that have been incorporated throughout the world and the United States to see if we could resolve this effectively and less cost-wise also. The research university is UT Arlington and they were selected through the RTI's selection process. The reason the bump at the end of the bridge is occurring or the settlement, which is more of the issue, is due to the change in the characteristics of the soil that are being brought into the projects to build our roadway embankments or headers leading up to the bridge ends. What happens is once we disturb the soil in the ground uh, from a quarry or a pit, then it becomes uh, more fluffed up, there's more air in the soil, they densify it to TxDOT standards, and there's a certain amount of settlement we call primary settlement, that occurs during a short period, but we can only do so much with current equipment. Over 5, 10, 20 years, that soil continues to settle on its own weight, driving out the water, driving out the air pockets, and it will continue to allow the soil particles to pack onto themselves. As that occurs, we get more settlement, then it becomes a maintenance problem. And we also looked at remedies for that, which are the same types of techniques that we use for design or construction. We actually have a project in the Fort Worth area right now that we are looking at. We have excavated it and determined that we have placed 17 inches of hot mix as overlays on that area, and it's still settling. So what do we do? we are actually looking at mitigation techniques with materials. And two of those that we are highly considering, one is geofoam, which is a styrofoam product on top of the soft soil. The other we thought of is the lightweight aggregate that comes from streetment. The philosophy is to try and put lightweight materials on the soil so that it doesn't continue to compact or compress the weak soils underneath. We actually built a embankment out of this lightweight aggregate. Full depth, it was probably 20, 30 feet tall. And we've had absolutely no settlement at that approach lap. That was on the south end of the bridge. On the north end of the bridge, we built it with a much better select fill, which was a low PI material, uh, not clay, but before construction was even completed, it had settled enough that they had to get the contractor to put an overlay on it to take out the bump at the end of the bridge. The Utah DOT on I-15 out of Salt Lake City rebuilt their interstate and they had 55 bridges that they reconstructed. Every single one of those used full depth geofoam product from the natural ground up and they have had no settlement at the ends of their bridges. We want to keep it smooth as constructed. We don't want it to settle because then we have to get out there uh, as maintenance and expend more funds. The traveling public sees us out there. They're saying, why are you closing the roads down again, et cetera. So we've, we know we can do it. It's experimental, but we have to try some different techniques rather than going back in and doing what we've already done knowing that it could possibly occur again.